in this video I am going to share my experience of using Linux Pop OS on my HP laptop. So I have switched from Windows 10 and I am going to share my experiences like what are my experiences after switching from Windows 10 to Pop OS and this video is uh, not about like how to install uh, Pop OS you will find many other videos on YouTube on how to do that. Uh, this video is mainly sharing like what performance improvements I got and uh, what challenges I faced while installing Pop OS while switching from Pop OS Windows 10 to Pop OS. So firstly I am going to start by putting up the device. Okay, so yeah, it's turned on. Just show you, just showing you the here is the HP logo, and Now here is the uh, login screen of Pop OS. Okay, so let's just okay. So I did my password, uh, password, and I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can have a better look. So this is the Pop OS interface. So in my opinion, it looks pretty slick, and you have already seen that the boot up uh, boot time is quite fast. It just started up uh, reasonably quickly, and uh, I have the Wi-Fi. Here is the launcher. and let me just show you the software which i have installed i have installed uh, gimp and google chrome inkscape kazam which is a screen recorder uh, open shot video editor whatsapp uh, vlc media player upwork uh, i am a freelancer on upwork so i have to use this regularly and these are the uh, software which i installed so uh, I think it is uh, pretty fast. Okay, so here are the softwares I'm showing it to you again, and uh, GIMP. GIMP is the so for after switching from Windows uh, 10 to this Pop OS, I had to replace some like. Windows software with alternatives. For example, GIMP is an alternative to Photoshop. So it is a very good software, and it is also available Windows or Mac. So it is a like universal software, universal photo editing software. And let me just uh, show you the performance. How? Let me open this up so you can see that how quickly it opens up. See, it opens up very quickly and uh, you can see that the pop os is quite fast the folders open up quite quickly and uh, so the performance uh, the performance is quite great and uh, it looks uh, quite sleek similar to mac os so uh, what are my experiences after switching from Windows 10 to Pop OS, Linux Pop OS? So Windows 10, like this laptop, this laptop, like is only a $300 laptop. Uh, this uh, configurations are uh, AMD dual core, 4GB RAM, and uh, it had a one terabyte uh, hard disk which i no sorry it had 500 gigabyte hard disk which i replaced with an ssd which is the only upgrade i made 
so when i was using windows 10 it was very slow uh, it was very slow like it took around 10 minutes to completely boot up uh, the laptop like it it did boot it up like within like three minutes but uh, it was like completely unusable it I, I i had to wait for 10 minutes to like completely uh, for all the other software to load and then i kept use then it became usable with pop os it is very like very easy like i instantly turned it on and i'm ready to use it uh, and it instantly shuts down and instantly shuts down and another advantage is that that i don't have to worry about any viruses uh, like mainly like mainly most of the viruses are meant for windows 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 operating system and uh, when you're using linux there is hardly any virus for linux there may be some but i'm not i'm not sure but there are very low low number of viruses for linux so you can consider yourself pretty safe while browsing the web and uh, like opening files from pen drive so it is very safe device and uh, but one disadvantage is that like it's a bit tricky to like install uh, different types of softwares such as uh, like adobe photoshop and the full uh, adobe suit is not like available on this uh, linux so if you are uh, like uh, adobe suit user then uh, it will not be like you'll find it difficult to switch to linux uh, another thing is that microsoft office that is not available so there is an alternative for that which i use Okay, so it is called Libre, Libre Office. So it is like similar to like Microsoft Office. There is a Microsoft Libre Office Writer, which means for Doc, uh, Libre Office Calc, which is uh, alternative for Microsoft Excel, and Libre Draw, I think, is for painting or something. Libre, Libre what? Uh, this is the alternative for Microsoft. Uh, PowerPoint and let's open this up so I'm going to open this up so, so to show you how quickly it loads see it looks pretty like it uh, loads up pretty quickly and the interface is very similar to uh, the interface you can see the interface is very similar to Microsoft Office so it's a, it's a very good alternative okay so let me just close this up okay so while uh, now I'm going to show you like how quickly it shuts down so the main problem with well, like Windows 10 devices is that it took a long time to shut down okay so I'm going to show you how you could how quickly shut down so to shut it down you can go to power off and then power off I'm going to count the seconds uh, of how long it took to shut down okay power off one two three four five within five seconds it completely shut down it is completely shut down so it's very quick so now i'm going to like uh, talk about the challenges which uh, which i faced while uh, i'm going to talk about the challenges which i faced while okay so now I'm going to talk about the challenges which I faced uh, while installing this so while installing this the main challenge I faced was uh, uh, like uh, when Windows 10 was installed uh, there was a like it did not detect the pen drive immediately like it did not uh, there was a thing called secure boot 
which was turned on due to windows 10 which i had to disable in order to like uh, make it make the laptop boot from like the uh, pen drive pop os pen drive uh, which i had to disable and i also had to like choose the option to like boot from the pen drive okay so uh, let me shut this down and show it to you how you can do that for hp laptops okay what i did there i just uh, like press the power button for several seconds it completely shut down okay i'm going to like turn it on and when it's turned on you make sure to press the escape button repeatedly escape button see now there is an option you see the option over there you go to like f10 f10 okay after going to f10 you go to system configuration and then go to boot option and then you'll need to make sure that legacy support is enabled and secure bot should be disabled otherwise uh, it won't be possible to boot from the pen drive okay i'm not going to save anything i'm just going to exit so now it will boot again i'm going to just show you one more time of how you can like after disabling the secure boot and enabling the legacy support you'll need to like choose the after inserting the pen drive you need to okay escape oh it's already booted Okay, it's already booted, so let's shut down again. Okay, shut it down. Turn it on and keep pressing the escape button. ESC escape. Keep pressing it. And then you'll get this option. Like, after uh, disabling the secure boot and enabling the legacy support, you'll need to boot from the pen drive. If you are going to install Linux on it on this device, need to uh, uh, boot from the pen drive so you need to go to the you need to press f9 to show uh, choose the boot device option so here are the boot device options over here so uh, if you insert if you have a pen drive over here you can uh, this will show up over here and will choose the pen drive to boot from that pen drive for now I'm going to escape so this was my like informal review of, of my experience of using Linux pop OS on my HP laptop so far I have been using it for like two months I think and I uh, I this I'm using this for a daily I'm not like uh, using Windows from side to side and this is my daily laptop which I use I, I do have a backup windows laptop uh, which I use sometimes when there is uh, when I need it very badly but I have been for now like for the last two months this is the only device which I have been using and I haven't had any issues at all no viruses no nothing so I hope you have found this video informative and uh, if this video if you found this video useful please make sure to like this video and also please subscribe to this channel so you can get notified when i upload a new video thank you